What's going on guys, my name is Cal, Jailbreak Central, and today I have my top 5 free Mac apps for 2016, um, or sort of 2015, carrying into 2016. Um, but anyway, the first one we have here is Living Wallpapers. This app is, uh, is really cool. Basically, uh, what it does is it puts the weather, the current weather of your location, and a clock in the background of your wallpaper, which is really useful if you need a quick look at the time or see what the weather is going to be. Um, again, this app is free. You can find it in the Mac App Store. And there's a bunch of options you can customize. You can see if you click on the app itself, it'll bring up a more uh, in-depth look at the weather. Um, then if you go to Preferences, you can see there are actually a, quite a few. Um, you can upgrade, uh, but it's not really necessary. Um, so for wallpapers, they give you a couple options. Uh, you can do a custom wallpaper as well, which I like. Uh, to do, you can also do hide clock, hide weather widget. Uh, if you go to general, you can enable show desktop, which is kind of cool. So if you leave your uh, Mac and it's not active for a little while, it will move all the windows away so that you can just see the uh, desktop. It makes it look pretty nice. Um, apps, these are other things that you can install, but it doesn't really matter that much. Um, if you go back to general, you can do clock format, 12 hour. Um, also, when you change uh, to custom, um, you can see there's a bunch of different options. You can change the number of pictures that it rotates through, what the transition is. Uh, you can change the position of the clock and the weather forecast, which is cool. And there's also a bunch of different styles um, that you can choose from. Um, you can see they change down there, and then clock will also change. Um, so it's a cool app. It's just kind of a nice, uh, it looks really cool on your desktop, and it's also useful uh, because it gives you uh, current weather and stuff like that at a quick glance. Uh, moving on to the second one, Disk Cleanup Pro. Um, this is one if you guys want to uh, clean up your desktop and get some more free space of so your storage is being all used up. Um, download this app. Uh, it's free, and it will basically look through your computer and find all of the uh, cache files and stuff that, uh, that are still on your computer that are taking up space that you don't need, so stuff that's basically there with no real reason to be there. Um, you can see I just downloaded it, uh, attention, 139 issues found, um, and it'll tell you how much space you can recover by removing those files. Um, now, I've tested this on other computers as well, and it seems to work pretty well, so I wouldn't really worry too much about it deleting files that are important. Uh, you can just go ahead and click Clean Now, um, and then it will take a while and clean all of your files, and then you'll have that extra disk space uh, to use for your computer. Next up, we have uh, Black Magic Disk Speed Test, sort of similar to the last one. Um, this is basically a free application that will determine how fast your disk uh, computer, uh, the computer disk, can work. So how fast you can write files, how fast you can read files, um, and this is basically checking to see uh, if there's any unnecessary stuff on your computer, much like the last one, um, that you can uh, sort of get rid of. Um, so you can see there's a bunch of stuff that goes through there on the bottom left-hand side. Um, and basically, if it checks all of that, it means it's good to go. Um, and also, uh, if you have a slow speed, you know, you could maybe think about upgrading your RAM, stuff like that. Um, so this is sort of just a useful application to see how fast your computer is and uh, if it's performing up to the speed that it should be or if you should get an application like the Disk Cleaner uh, to fix it. Uh, while this is going on in the background, it does take a while. I'll just go ahead and show you guys the next one, which is Caffeine. Uh, Caffeine is another free Mac app. And basically, this one adds a little icon, a little coffee cup icon to the top bar of your computer there. You can see if I click on it, it will fill the coffee cup and heat lines will start coming off of it. Uh, basically, what this does is it keeps your computer from going to sleep on its own. So this is really useful if you're downloading a large application, you're installing something on your computer, and you don't want your computer to go to sleep and stop the install process. Uh, you can go ahead and download this application and set it to indefinitely when it first comes up. And then when you click on it, it won't go to sleep um, until you uncheck it. Um, and it's really useful for downloading stuff or if you're editing some files, stuff where you need to leave your computer on for a while um, and not have it go to sleep. Now the last one is probably the most useful one, although it's not necessarily the most exciting. Um, and that's the unarchiver tool. Basically, any files that you download from the internet, you're going to need something like this in order to extract the files and view them, especially if you're on a Mac, because sometimes PC files can get kind of wonky when you download them. Um, so this will let you unarchive um, all the files that you download from the internet and see what's inside of them. Um, it's very simple. Basically, you can just set it to uh, the default app to unarchive everything that you download um, using the instructions you see here. 
Um, and then once you do that, you can also, there's all these different files you can check. So if you want some files unarchived with this tool and some not, you can go ahead and select those. Um, you can also say where you want it to extract to, um, and it basically gives you a little bit more control over the files that you download. Um, if you're like me and you download a lot of files, then this can be a very useful tool. So guys, those are the top five free Mac apps of 2015 slash 2016. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a share. It really means a lot. And that, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later.